Hello everyone, welcome to our new DS tutorial. My name is Shofuk Bek, and in this tutorial, we're gonna get here on your our talk about aerial trees. So in the previous video, we talked about how to find the balance of factor in aerial tree, I mean, the main property, right, of aerial trees. And um, also talked about insertion and how to rotate the node to the right. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about deletion operation and uh, during the talk, during the analyzing deletion operations, we also uh, consider and analyze how to rotate the node to the left, okay? So uh, let me remind you the main property of aerial tree. Aerial tree, I mean, has the nodes which have their own balancing factor, which should be or must be in the range of uh, zero minus one and one, so that tree, uh, chemical as avl3 okay so if this property is not maintained we have to do rotation right for example when you insert a node balancing factors changes of some nodes for example then you have to rotate that node the node that doesn't have balance effect in the range of zero minus one one two or the right or to the left so three corresponding okay so of course a deletion operation also pretty same as insertion i mean deletion operation also causes nodes to change the balancing factor so that this balancing factor then might be not in the range of zero minus one and one so that means that after deletion we must do rotation so that we still can have or can keep AVL3 as AVL, okay? So there are actually two types of deletion. I mean, that's really straightforward, right? Because you delete either in the left subtree or the right subtree, okay? So the very first case is when you delete in the right subtree. So, okay, let me draw now AVL3. So we're gonna consider firstly uh, deletion of not in the right subtree, okay? So deletion in right subtree, okay? So say, imagine we have this tree. Uh, actually, okay, let's say the circle means the knot, okay? The circle means the knot. When I draw this um, rectangle, that means this is a tree, okay? This is tree three. So, okay, this is a subtree, okay? There might be, for example, many nodes, okay? But we're not interested in that. We just write them as one tree, okay? This is a subtree. And there is a node, for example, this is a root A, this is, a, uh, this is kind of a root of left subtree, okay? Root of left subtree of A, okay? So on uh, this root, I mean, this B, has two childs, two subtrees, okay, T1 and T2, okay? Again, this uh, subtrees, there might be many nodes instead of T1, for example, there might be this kind of nodes, okay? But we're not interested in them, we just write them as uh, subtrees one rectangle, okay? So then this uh, height of this subtree is H and height of this subtree is also H, height of this subtree is also H. So then T. We want to calculate balancing factor, okay? So, um, see, the left subtree has H, okay? We are calculating a uh, balancing factor by this formula, okay? Height of left subtree minus height of right subtree. So, height of left subtree is H, height of right subtree is H, so L minus R is zero. So, uh, what about the balancing factor of A? It has two steps till the, actually, not two steps. Um, it has, yeah, let's say two steps, okay? For example, till this part, this is one, okay? Till the end of this leaf node, H, right? Because the the height from this point to the last uh, leaf node of this subtrees is H, right? So overall, the left height of A is H plus one, okay? So what about the height, I mean, the height of right subtree? A is this is, to, from the top to the bottom is H, okay? Here H plus one, so H plus one minus H is one. So again, see, when you delete, in this case, we are deleting something from the right subtree, okay? For example, uh, this T3 has, for example, this kind of nodes, okay? And uh, you are deleting, for example, this. We don't care which node we are deleting. 
key in. We don't care which node we are deleting. What we care is what do we do firstly is to look at the root of the left subtree. So again, I repeat, we need to lead the node in the right subtree. You go and look the balancing factor of the root of the left subtree. Again, the opposite subtree, okay? So I, I, I write here, when delete anything, okay? Anything, doesn't matter which node you're deleting, okay? Anything, if it's in the right subtree, you do this stuff. When you delete anything in right subtree, okay? We don't care which, which node. If it's in right subtree, so follow this rule, okay? In right subtree, go and look at root of left subtree, okay? Okay, this is really, really important. This is really fundamental. So that means, see, uh, what, I mean, balancing factor of B may be in range of, okay, this may be in range of uh, minus one, zero, and one, okay? So that means we have three cases, okay? Three cases um, in, in terms of deletion in the right subtree. For example, uh, when you delete anything in the right subtree, you go and look at the balancing factor of the root of left subtree, which is B, okay? It's, it's B. So B might have balancing factor minus one, zero, and one. And for each balancing factor, we have um, a different uh, steps that we have to follow, okay? So now let's start again with uh, zero. I mean, what I mean by zero is that we start in with the case when the B root of left sub three has balancing factor zero, okay? So that's why I drop zero. So we're gonna consider three cases when um, balancing factor is zero and balancing factor minus one and balancing factor is one. So when the when B is, when balancing factor of B is zero, we call this case, we call this case as R zero. What does it mean R zero? Does, is it, that means we are deleting from the right subtree, this R, and the balancing factor of B, the root of left subtree is zero, okay? This is this, okay? So we call this case R zero. So now we have to remember one thing. In this case, what do you do is to um, rotate the A, the root to the right. Why? Let me draw, I mean, this is before deletion, okay? Before, before, okay, before deletion. When you delete something in the right subtree, this H becomes what? When you delete something from this subtree, the height will become one times less, okay? So what I mean is that after deletion, see, after deletion, I'm drawing, this is A, right? This is our B, the high as the root of the left subtree. So this is our uh, subtrees of B. This is this was what? Uh, sorry, T1, the height is H, nothing's changed here. T2 height is changed. And here we had our T3, its height was H, but once we delete something from here, our height becomes one times less because you know, you delete something, okay? One not less, so one not less means one pass, one way less to the, for example, to the leaf. For example, uh, for example, if this subtree was like this, three, okay, you had to do two steps in order to reach a leaf node. But once you delete this, the pass becomes one times less because here height was two, actually, let's say H was two, but now H is one because there's only one step to the leaf node, okay? So that's why we denote the height of, uh, let me uh, erase this, the height of T3, which was initially H, two H minus one, okay? So this is now H minus one. So let me write it. Uh, sorry. So again, what's not working? So 
now. So here, h minus one. So this is h minus one. The height of this is zero. Uh, I mean, the balancing factor. And what about the height of the left subtree? This is one and h, right? h plus one. And the, the height of the right subtree is h minus one. So h plus one minus h minus one is going to be what? Two, right? So this is two. So what does it mean? Okay, let's stay like that. I won't, I won't just delete it. Okay, let's skip them. So height of, I mean, the height of H1 plus one is in left sub three, height of the right sub three of A, the root, this is root, is H minus one. So balancing factor of A is two. In this case, as you see, the balancing factor is not in the range. So what does it mean? You have to rotate this A. So if you remember in our previous video, you rotate what? We rotate the node that has not satisfying balancing factor. Okay, rotate C, rotate the node which has non-satisfying, non-satisfying balancing factor. Okay, let's say not in range okay not in range of minus one zero and one so that means we rotate to the i mean we rotate the node a so now we know which node to rotate so now where to rotate to the left or to the right so logically you can imagine that in which side which sub tree we have more nodes because we talked in a previous video we identified in which sub tree we have more nodes than the opposite sub tree so Clearly, in the left subtree, there are more nodes than in the right subtree because the height is h plus one. Here is h minus one. So that's why what do we do is we rotate to the right because we want to move this a to the right subtree so that the difference between the height of the left subtree and the right subtree won't be out of range. Okay. So that's why please remember that whenever whenever the case is the case is r0 that means delete so when you have r0 when you delete in right sub three okay in the right sub sub three okay just sub three whenever you delete the right sub three and when b's b's b is what root of left sub three okay root of left sub sub three of the head the head the main root okay is zero when this left uh sub trees root has zero balancing factor and when you do anything the right sub tree you have the special case of r zero and in this case you do what Rotate again. I repeat, rotate the head. The head. This is a root of main root of uh, AVL3. In this case, what it's A to the right. Okay. Okay. To the right. So whenever you have this R R zero case, you rotate the head to the right. So in this case, head is ten. So let's rotate it. So now what we have, let me redraw the deletion case. I mean, the AVL tree right after we delete, okay, this non satisfied balancing factor. So A has what, minus two balancing factor. This is T3, okay, it's, it has height H minus one. So there was B balancing factor is zero. This is R, R0 case, okay, R0 case. So sub trees, this is uh, sub trees, T1, H, T2, H, okay? So once we then rotate, what? Rotate A to the right, okay? So then what we have, this, this is move to the right sub tree, and this B becomes what then? This B becomes the head, so once this bit becomes a head, we have to move this entire subtree, the right subtree of B to some new position, right? So uh, as we talked in our 
previous video, um, rotation to the right. When you move the head to the right, sub three, and when you move this, I mean, when this uh, root of left sub three becomes what? The head, we must move the right, the right sub three, entire right sub three of B to become the left sub three of A, C. This is a case. So actually, this is A, okay? This is B, right? And let's say this is uh, this sub three, okay? T. T right, let's say. And when you rotate, when B becomes the head, B is head, and when A becomes the right child, right child of B, okay, your this, I mean, initially the right subtree of B becomes the left subtree of A, okay? So just remember it. This is this is what you do in the case of our zero R zero case. R zero case, R zero follow this pretty pretty simple okay so what we have here so i or new root b in the left i have what i have this t0 t1 okay t1 is still here but i don't have t2 in the right sub 3 in the right sub 3 i have what a a has the left sub 3 is what t3 so you move entire sub three, okay? For example, if T three has this, uh, for example, this note B C, okay, C D E. You don't only move C C. This you move everything, okay? Everything here, everything here, okay? Just be careful. So T three and the right child of A is still this T three, okay? Uh, actually, actually, this is this was T two. Uh, let me read it. This was T two, right? Because uh, B's right child was T two, and the T C is still here. So height of T three is H minus one. Height of T is H, and height of T one is H, right? Because this is still same. Only T three's height is changed because we deleted something from this subtree. So now let's. They recalculate uh, balancing factor so that we can be sure that we have done everything correctly. I mean, we successfully changed this, uh, not, successfully removed this non satisfying balancing factor from our AVL tree. So we must be sure that each node now here has satisfying balancing factor. So let's calculate. So the height of the left subtrees of the new root is H, so minus. Uh, what about the height of the right subtree? So actually, let's calculate firstly is uh, balance factor of A. So left subtree's height is H, right subtree's height is H minus one. So H minus H minus one, this eight minus becomes plus, right? When you remove the bracket. So this is one, this is such fine. This is good. We changed successfully two to the one. Congratulations. Now balance factor of A is not two, is not non-satisfying. It is satisfying, this is one. So our objective is done, but we have to also check whether we didn't change this beast uh, balance factor to non-satisfying one. So we must be sure that B still has satisfying balance factor, which is either zero or minus one or one. So the height of left sub three is what? H, the height of the right sub three is what? This case is what? T is going to be uh, H plus one because I uh, see, and what is the height? The height is the distance, the steps that you have to follow at the pass till the leaf is known. And which sub three has the leaf node? This, right? Because here we have height H, here height, uh, height minus one, I mean, H minus one. So that means this sub three has one less node, one less degree than this sub three. So that's why in order to calculate the balancing factor, we move to the left sub three. So one step and, I mean, one, and till the leaf node of this sub three, we have H step, right? I mean, the height is H. So the height of the right sub three is H plus one. So minus H plus one is going to be what? H minus H minus one, so minus one. So this is good, this is in wage. So guys, we have successfully uh, considered, successfully considered a zero case when we delete from the right subtree 
and the balancing factor of the root of left sub three b this b is zero you just move rotate this a to the right sub three and the formula i mean the step is this okay just follow this okay it's pretty straightforward a becomes uh, right it becomes the head of the right sub three okay you see this is, i mean the root of the right sub three and b becomes initially this is the root of left sub three becomes the root the head of the real tree and you move the right sub tree of b to the position of left sub tree of a so it's a pretty pretty straightforward uh, let me write here uh right this is right means right sub tree okay so this is kind of general general formula so okay right so that's it let me uh, end this uh, video it is pretty long so uh, in this video consider our zero case in the next videos we're going to consider r minus one and r one case and by r one or bar r minus one i mean that we consider the case when we delete in the right sub three and the balancing factor of b is minus one this is the next case and the balancing factor of b is one this is also next case which has special steps for each case so now we consider the case when b has the balancing factor of zero so thank you everyone for your attention i hope it was really useful and helpful for you if you have any kind of questions please feel free to ask us anyway just write your comment sections give us thumbs up support us we are doing everything for the sake of your success let's say at least in exams. Thank you.